Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rock 321 back with another launch video today. Today we're going to get a few flights off. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share the videos. Bring you all kind of rocket content from launches to builds, unboxings. I'll show you all kind of stuff here. Um, check the links below. The collector cards are available. Go down there, place your order. I got Kevlar for sale. Check the website. Got a few other things. Got some stickers. Every order comes with some stickers. So, yeah, just check the links. Um, check the links, guys. Uh, Model Rocks 321. That's what this is. Um, also, use the SS discount code if you're new to rocketry and you're just getting into it. IN underscore 321. Sorry, guys, if you've been uh, with me for a while. The discount code used to work multiple times. Now it's only working one time. SD took that away. I don't know why. It's a shame. But today, guys, we're going to be flying a few. Um, just some doing some regular stuff. This is going to be going on a C63. This is a Quest Big Betty. I converted it to this Da Vinci rocket. I am a fan of Leonardo Da Vinci, the Renaissance painter, designer, architect, all that stuff. Maybe not architect, but engineer for sure. Um, so I did this rocket in his dedication. There had the Mona Lisa. And we're going to fly it. I haven't flown this one in years, I don't think. I don't think I flew it out here. I'm not sure. I could have. There could be a video where I forget. Flew so many, I forgot. So we're going to get this going right now. Hit that subscribe button. All right. So here we go, guys. We got the Mona Lisa rocket here, the Da Vinci rocket, the converted Quest Big Betty. Going on a C65, going in five, four, three, two, one. On a C65, we have an event. We got parachute. And it's out. I'm drifting down. So here we had first flight of the day. On the C65. Giving me a walk heading towards the west. Gonna give me a walk today, I see. Gonna give me a little walk. See so yeah, ya guys. Subscribe. If you just find this channel and you didn't subscribe yet, go on subscribe. We're gonna bring you some flights. Oh yeah, this one's putting me way out here. A little breeze up there. Oh yeah, that's up there pretty high. Pretty high. I keep my eye on that. I almost, almost lost it, but I see it now. Oh yeah, this is a far walk. Give me a good walk. And Kevlar we trust, guys. And this rocket right here, this Quest. Quest always did Kevlar with a little piece of elastic. I always like their system too. They mount the Kevlar to the engine mount and then they go and they do um elastic up top which is always always pretty cool there and their elastic was really good quality too it's this little it's like um it's round it's like barrel elastic or whatever so i always like the way quest did their thing but yeah the rocket already touched down this is way west so i'm gonna have this trench i'm at the cross up here so stay tuned model rocks 321 all right so we're fast approaching here we go. So, here we go. Got the Da Vinci. Landed on the ground. Everything looks good here. I don't expect any damage from this guy yet. Fins are good. Everything's good. Parachute, good. Everything's good. Everything's intact. And that's one down, guys. Stay tuned for more flights. Let's go. Okay, guys. Next up, we got the old school Century Taurus. This is an acquired kit. I bought a collection a while ago, or a partial collection, and this Taurus is in there. Got a little ding on the tube right there, but I flew it before. It performs really well. This may be a day of long walks, because that uh, Da Vinci put me way out there. Pretty far walk. Must be a little, must be a thermal up there. Because down on the ground, it's it's calm down here. So we'll see how it do. Going on a C53, by the way, so that'll put it up there pretty good. So let's do it. Model Rock 321. All right, here we go, guys. We got the Century Taurus Vintage Rocket going on a C-53. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Up there next to the moon, daytime moon. And there we go. Parachutes out. Time to start my walk. Look like it may be a little closer than the last one. Same direction. There's a breeze definitely carrying it. Yeah, it's carrying it to me. Oh, it may drift back this way. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not drifting back this way. Kidding myself. 
Yeah, coming down real nice. Not too big of a parachute. It's the, actually, it's the one that came with us, the Century, original Century parachute. Same area. Yeah, same area. Just hanging up there. Hanging out. Hanging out in Kevlar we trust. Also, guys, be sure to check. Get your set of cards. Thanks to Kevin. Kevin, thank you. Appreciate it for doing a review on the cards. And thanks to Mob Rockets. He got his cards and reviewed them. And some of you other guys, feel free to share the cards anywhere you want. Drifting down and touching down right there. Look like they may have landed in some dirt. It's behind this little bush that's dead center. So yeah, thanks to you guys for uh, reviewing the cards. That was pretty cool. I appreciate that a whole lot. The cards are doing well. People are getting them. So pre-orders is now closed, but the cards are available. I'm still going with them. Set There will be a set number two. This is set number one of the cards. Judging by the response, people seem to like them. So get you guys a set of cards. And we're going to fly some more rockets. Let me get the Taurus. And I'll be right back. All right. So we are approaching the Taurus. Check it out, land around this little mound right here. Yep, parachute draped over there. And here we go right here. Already got one of these ants on him, wondering what's going on. Yeah, here you go. So, here we go, you got the Taurus. Parachute kind of dipped in on itself. Oh, what's going on? It's tangling up in these reeds. Here we go. Yeah, so we got the Sentry Taurus here, guys. Sentry Taurus, looking pretty good. Nice flyer. Nice vintage, nice vintage kit, nice vintage bird. So there we go. We'll get back, let's get another one in the air, guys. If you didn't subscribe already, go on and subscribe. You lasted this long, go on and subscribe. If you felt value, get any value out of this channel, check the links below, support the channel where you can. Auto Rockets. And next up, guys, we have the Starship Vega. Gonna be going on a B62. The last two gave me some long walks, some pretty decent walks, a little thermal up there. So we're going to go to B62, some a little more low and slow. So we're going to check it out. Let's do it. Starship Vega. All right, we got the Starship Vega going on a B62. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, B62 yanked it quick. That is a short two second delay. <laughs> I was expecting, I always forget two is really two. Coming down kind of fast, I don't know, it might, ugh, we landed good, kind of hard landing. Hopefully everything's good, that kind of up and down. Really quick, B62, I wanted a short walk, I got it. So, there we go, let's check everything out. I did have a break um, on this a while ago, but yeah, all these are good. Yeah, they're all good, still survived it. Wow, up and down, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So there we go, Starship Vail, still kind of hot. Still kind of hot right there. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Starship Vega, guys. And this is also one of the cars. Right now, I am not running in Kevlar We Trust, but as you can see, it's getting charred and burned. I will be replacing this rubber elastic shock cord. But up top, I have this nice, tough twine up top. This is really good. So I may just replace from here down, and um, then we'll go from there. We'll go from there with the uh, with the Kevlar. And that's easy to remove. You can pull all that apart. But I see it's trying to come apart now. Hey, right, gotta. Have to do definitely gonna do this one. I'm gonna replace that with in Kevlar we trust. My Kevlar is available. You get 10 feet for six bucks, guys. You can't beat that. I've had some people grabbing a bunch of it, so go on and grab you a bunch of Kevlar, stock it up, and replace that underwear elastic out of your rocket. Let's go. Next one to the next flight. All right, here we go. We got the Taurus going on a C65, going in T minus five, four, three, two. One. Way up by the moon. Five second delay. And we got parachute. And we got a walk. Let's see you drifting down. That is a nice flying rocket hanging up there. Nice slow drift. So it might be in closer this time. Hopefully if it catches the thermal, it may push it back. Oh yes, yeah, traveling. Yeah, it's so interesting how you can watch. Those thermals up there are just moving stuff around. If I get under this, I'll maybe get us a catch. Let me get under this. It seems like he wants to... Let's see if I can get a catch today, guys. Maybe it is. Oh, no, he's moving too fast. Moving too fast. Moving too fast. Yeah, moving too fast. Not going to get a catch out of me. 
but it's a little closer so that's not bad and here we go we got a touchdown coming right in front of me and beautiful soft soft landing that was great that was the flight of the day that was the winner right there i like that that was a nice soft touchdown it wanted it landed on it hit all three fins it didn't stick the landing but it definitely landed, hit all three like a spacex booster landing on those legs so here we go oh no we got a broke fin <laughs> well it did hit all three i can see marks on them but it broke that fin so nice way to end the day got something to fix now but overall a still a good day this is rocketry yeah it's not that fin right out there but easy fix you can see it's going to place itself right back in there well that's my rock 321 for the day guys subscribe to the channel stop by the website grab some kevlar grab the collectible stickers don't miss set number one because when they go away and set number two is out bye bye they're never coming back again so century engineering model rock 321 shout out to estes thank you estes for sending me the great product the super great goblin we'll be building that we'll be flying that so guys stay tuned for another video hit that subscribe button and watch this video coming up after the debriefing debriefing coming up next auto rockets three two one Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, so it is debriefing time for the flights that you saw today. There was supposed to be a different rocket for the last flight, but I forgot the motor. I was going to be flying this right here. I was going to be flying the Comanche. I had it all ready to go except for the sustainer. I forgot the motor. I was checking things before I went out last night. I was checking things and I forgot to bring the um, upper stage, the sustainer motor, which is going to be a B85. I was trying to go somewhat low and slow because you know you start out with a D120 and I was going to go to a B and then to another B. Um, but I forgot that motor and I didn't want to put a C in there. So I just decided to wait till the next launch. Next launch, I will get the Comanche off. And this is actually a request launch um, because someone someone wanted to see um, wanted to see this go. So I'll have the motor already in and ready to go. I had just checked it last night and then um, I just forgot to put it back in and forgot to pack it up when I went out this morning. So no Comanche flight, but I will fly this one. It's gonna get up there pretty good. I think we can recover everything in that field. So no Comanche. So that's why you saw a Taurus Second flight at the very end. And I'll begin, I'm going to start with the Taurus. That last flight that you just witnessed before the debriefing gave me a broken fin. The first one flew really nice on um, C-53, a great flying rocket, classic, classic kit. I love the Taurus, um, as do many of you. Yeah, C-65 with the last flight. Got this broken fin, so I'm going to get this fixed all up before it goes back and sit. I'm going to just go ahead and take it off because it's just hanging on. It's going to get on my nerves. So, yeah, it's a really nice flying rocket. Performs really well. Um, just got to glue the fin back on and we'll be good to go again. So that was the last flight you just saw. I'm going to stand this guy back here. But the first flight was this one right here, which is the Quest Big Betty, which I converted to the Da Vinci, I call it. Leonardo Da Vinci, Renaissance painter, and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, this is a fun one to fly. Um, I flew it on a C-6-5. It um, went really well. Really nice high flying rocket. Gave me a long walk. Gave me a nice long walk to the west. And um, that one was that one. So we have this spent motor casing here. It's a B62. Now the B62, I flew the on, the only one I flew. I was going to fly this one, but I ended up pulling this, the shock cord all the way out because it, it wasn't attached good. So I went on to replace that. 
um, and replace it with all Kevlar. Then I'm going to you know, complete my and Kevlar we trust situation going on, which you can get your Kevlar, as you know by now. Um, I'm selling some Kevlar right now. got the cards, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, this, um, this is a really nice rock. I like this one a lot. This is a restore, actually, but I restored it. If you're new to this channel, you may have seen the video where I restored it. I just made it look old. I gave it these burns as if it was a re-entry like that in land, kind of like SpaceX boosters or whatever. But yeah, Starship Vega went really, really nice. And like I said, this um, came off. So I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to get that paper out of there. If you ever have to get paper out of there, guys, you can use needle nose pliers, scissors. If you have any of the long, skinny needle nose pliers, they'll get down there and they can pull that paper right out. See, I have these right here. And I'm, uh, I can probably grab some of that paper right now, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to just go on and get this cleared out of here. And I'm going to have it all ready for its new Kevlar um, system I'm going to be running. So you can pull this right up. And you can also get like a piece of wood dowel and you can tape um, sandpaper around the dowel and you can sand that area where the paper is to get the rest of it. You know, get all of it. Don't go too deep until you go through the body tube, but just get enough of the paper out of there. So that paper is just glued in there. And it got old, I guess. But here's the uh, elastic shot cord. So I had a few more flights on it, but it is getting all crumbly. It's getting very crumbly. So this is done. I'm a I'm going to keep this green string up top. I'm going to leave that, but I am going to cut this. Um, I am going to detach that and get this off here. So this will be replaced with um, Kevlar. Kevlar on the lower half, and I'm going to have the um, keep this twine up top. So that, that's trash right there. So, yeah, but overall a good day. Um, good day of flying. Just had that one broke fin. Um, had some great flights. Flew the uh, Taurus twice. Really high flying, lightweight rockets today. So... Just wanted to have some fun. The, the uh, Comanche would have been nice, but like I said, I just I forgot the motor. So that's my that's my fault. I forgot the motor on that. One. I forgot to bring it. So yeah, here's some spent casings. One, two, three, and yep, four flights. Yep, two on the Taurus, one on the uh, the Da Vinci right here, and one on the Vega. So that was a day's flight. Here's another look at the Comanche in all three of those stages, guys. This is a three stager. First one will go here. That's the D. That'll get it off the ground. D120. Then we go up to a B60. Then we'll go to a B85. So, and it performs in that configuration. So it'll get it up there. It'll get it up there pretty nice. Probably won't be as high as the uh, the so long ago as a stager, but it'll get it up there pretty high. Get some nice altitude out of it. As long as there's no wind and you're not going to be getting pushed around too much, it should be should be pretty pretty good deal. So that's what we're doing today, guys. I'm going to be fixing this, and I'm going to be attaching that, and we will be back to catch you with another video. But before we go, I just want to show you guys, if you haven't ordered yet, get your set of trading cards, my Rock 321. This is set number one. Go and place your order. Uh, Kevin really appreciated this one being signed. This is this is just my set. It's not signed. Yours will be just loose cards inside of a sleeve, but mine I put in these hard cases. Or you can do like Kevin. He put this in a nice binder, so that was pretty cool. Like full descriptions and details and stuff on the back about each rocket. So these are available. It's a full 12-card set. This is just a few of them. So go on over, website link below, and grab something. Model Rocks 321. We'll be back with some more content. See you guys later. Thanks for your support. Appreciate you. And I'm out. Peace.